Right, good morning everyone. I'm going to show, right, before I start, the door that I've been making, the fairy door, it has um, stuck to the paper and I put the hinges on and I will finish that off in another video but it's not very, it keeps breaking and I don't know why. I don't like the clay that I used, it was a new clay, so maybe I'll look into that and see what's wrong with it. So I'm going to continue, That's I, to be honest it's put me off doing that door and I know I need to finish it because people have been following, but I'll do it later because right now it's just driving me insane. So this morning I'm going to be showing you how to do these, now they do call them the boho beads so it's bohemian beads basically i prefer bohemian but we'll use boho because that's what everybody knows them as and i made three last night to show you you can make them any size you want but you're using straws that's all it is is straws wires and beads so i mean these are really pretty and you can dangle anything from them but I've, you know, straight away I thought, you know what, my head, my head goes, you see. So I've got lots of things out that I can create with. And here's the straw. Now, personally myself, I prefer the shorter one to the longer one. But it's just how they turn out. So what I'm going to need to start with... Um, oh, and before I carry on, hang on, hang on, because I meant to show you this. I've got this, um, it came yesterday, Daydream Journals Tilly Rose and it's um, slow stitching and making things and it shows you how to do it. I will go through that book in another video and I've got some fabrics to start something that actually uh, comes together with these beads, the boho beads. So anyway, take, we'll do this one, I love this one. But I want it shorter, I don't want it as long. Take some uh, chenille wool. No, I never know where the middle is for this. It's just one of those things. I've got the glue gun on, you do need the glue gun folks. Actually, you don't. I did mine without gluing them at all last night. So I got, I'll got i glue it though this morning. It's just easier to show you. Little dot of glue. And you just pop that on. And then you just wrap. You see it thickens it straight away. So wrap that around. Now, I generally get to there. And then I push that up to make it thicker. When you get to the end, go over it again. Right. Now you can bulk out the middle to make it look like a bead. You know where a beads are a bit bulkier in the middle. You can do whatever you want with these, I tell you. And I'm just going to wind mine to the end. Snip it. Leave a little tail. I'm going to put the glue uh, on the inside of that and then use a tweezers to push that down inside there like that and that's all I do basically and you've got your fluffy um, <coughs> bead so the next thing to do is wrap some wire around it so here's my wires So let me get my uh, wire straighteners. Do some little dangly bits. I, I'm going to do a chain one at the moment. But make some of these up to dangle from the end. You do all your... This is where you can use all your junk stuff. Because it's bohemian. Do I want to do it like that? I need a bead. Need a tiny bead. 
I'm going to use a pink one and put a bit of colour in it. So, um, put it down to the end. Just hang on. I've still got all that dye in my hands and I've tried desperately to get rid of it because it it's unsightly to me. Seagulls are out. We're not even near the bloody sea. <laughs> you tell me. Right, so, where did I put that bead? On there. I'm going to thread that through. I put it, the um, small pink one on the end and just twisted it once. You don't need much. But I want to make a dangled chain of these. And if you watch what happens, see, it does that. But then when you put the next one on, these crisscross and they make a, a really nice pattern. See, like that. And I want to hang that from my charm. I think this is the last one. Now you can colour coordinate them or multi. Look at that. And I want that dangling from the end of my bead. So, where's my bead? Here's my bead. I'm going to poke my wire. Oh, you need a bead cap on there first. Now I did put a bead cap out, didn't I? Yeah. See like that? So I'm going to put that bead cap out. Um, I'm going to thread the wire through the bead cap. Then through my bead. It just tidies the end. Oh, don't worry about this. It just tidies that up. And then what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue around the edge. Bring that bead cap up. <laughs> See, got that. And then we're going to do the top section, which is another big bead cap. Where did I put my bead caps? You can do absolutely anything to these. That's the one I'm after. That's why I never, when I take jewellery apart, I keep all the bead caps, everything. I don't throw anything away. And I'm going to put that little bead cap on there we'll spin that around and that will attach itself like that. and then I'm going to need some beads so I think I'm going to use this large crystal to start with I put the large crystal on but I need a bead cap for that let's move these out of the way don't worry we'll decorate the bead a lot of people decorate them first but I find you don't have to where's my wire put my wire on I'm going to do another bead cap like that one they're like the last one Put giant crystal on, G call them giant when they're over 12, 10, 12 centimetres, uh, centimetres, millimetres. I'm going to encapsulate that in another bead ca cap. Uh, let's do a pearl bead. I'm going to do a fancy pearl bead with a cap. I've got two little ones here, yeah. You put roundels in between as well if you want to. That's why I keep the wires long. Because you can make these as long as you want. Oh, 
that's it. And I'm going to put another blue crystal on that. And then we have to make the loop so this can hang from wherever. And all I do is I wrap it around my finger like that and then just wrap that wire around. And that's all you need to do. As long as you've got it a few times, it ain't going anywhere. And always put your wires safe because that'll do something else. And then make sure with your pliers that that wire is tucked in. That's it. And there you go. So far we've got that. Now I need to wrap this. So I'm going to take some more of the uh, gold wire. A long enough piece that you can play around with. Now this is where I've seen people um, not do something which they could do. So you need to start uh, from here. Now most people try and wrap it around and just wrap it around and that's it. But I, if you go underneath first, take the two wire bits and twist. That secures your... Um, wire on the beads right and then pull that down and then start to wrap your wire like that and I did it a few times at the top and you've got your little end here but that'll blend in don't worry about it you can cover that with this Now, what it's doing is securing everything on. So then, we're just going to press that on there. Press that in and push down. That's fine. And then I'm going to take some of my fancy trim. This one. And I want to wrap it around. Because Bohemian is coloured, isn't it? And it's pink, this one. Yeah. And I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue there. And do that. Wrap that around the top a little bit. And then wrap that around the stem on the main bead. Look at that. I love them. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just there to support that next bit there. And then I'm going to re wrap it the other way look at that I'm going to need to cut that and wrap that around dot of glue on the end of that like that And you can do these however you want to do them. I love them, but uh, maybe that's going a little bit bold. But yeah, I like that. And then you can twist this again. Or flatten it out. And when you're adding it to your project, if you're gluing it into a book end, you know, the spine of a book. But yeah, I think they're great. Now you can add beads onto your wires as well. I'm not doing that because it's too faffy for me. Um, but what I did think about, <coughs> where have I put it now, here, I did think, well I could put that on, 
that's too big really so I'm just going to get my little diamante box out um, let me just I've got one of these I think maybe one of them oh actually I like that <laughs> I would attach it with glossy accents but I'm not going to I'm going to attach it first of all I'm going to go all out bling I think yeah I'm going to now what I'm going to do you really should do it with glossy accents so start it with uh, hot glue and then what you can do uh, is um, go over it in certain places and uh, add some glossy accents Oh, I'm liking this. I haven't seen anyone do this at all. Like that. Let's break that off. Oh, yes. Now, now I wish I hadn't done that because I would like to have done some tassels using beaded things but hey ho I've done it and then what I'm going to do is attach if it'll go I don't think it's got enough on actually um oops one of these now that's pretty isn't it look at that And we can pin those down more to grasp it. Yeah. Oh wow, look at these. Now that one I need to finish, I think. And I think what I'm going to do is put, because it's a darker one, it's like a dark grey. I'm going to put on some of the dark uh, black diamante but it'll give it a, a little bit of a bling I didn't put any beads on the top I threaded a chain through it I didn't put any bead caps on it either because you can just do what you like with them now like I say I will Oops, don't you go away. Yeah. I do like that. I did added a little bit extra around the mid section of wire. I kind of like this. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> but do you know what? I'm liking putting these on. Oops. Uh, let me just cut that bit off. Yeah, I'm actually liking adding bits onto them. So let me see if I've got anything that can go with this. What if I do three of those? Just ignore me when I talk to myself. I've got three of those. I'm going to try that. Oh, that's got a stud missing. And I've got one with a pearly top to go in the middle. Like that. 
There. More my style. <laughs> Oops. Now that chain's come off. But that's what I said. Glue it on with glossy accents if you can. Let that dry and then go over the ends and it just a pop a little bit of glue because it dries clear. So, they're the beads. The Bohemian beads. And you can do them as shabby as you want because what I'm going to do, I have some kits that I'm making up. Kits of this, uh, the bead. But together, it will come with lots of fabrics. Uh, they're not cut very big, though, um, for you to play around with and make a bag. If that's what you want to do. So I'm going to show you those now. Let me just put those back. They can go in. Oh, so I've also done this last night ready. The kits will be colour coordinated. So let's have a look at the one we've got here. You're going to get some plain fabric. Where's the plain fabric gone? Right, you're going to get, it won't be this much, but you'll get enough to do a bag. So you get like an A4 size. And then what you do is you're going to be crisscrossing this all over it. So these are all the different, I mean there's other ones, these are the ones I chose to do my bag. Um, which I'll show you in a minute. So I also did these, which are, obviously that thread is going to coordinate with the one I've got. And so is that one. So you'll get two to three, I might put that one in as well. Um, these are the wools that you can use on your bohemian beads and what I've done is you're going to get the, the material for the bag and the material for the beads and I will make it that you have several you know at least three beads that you can make up and um, play around with so the, these will coordinate with whatever three beads I'm going to put in with the fabric that will match. I'm also adding some uh, beaded trimming that you can wrap around your bead and some pearly trim that you might want to hang as a tassel. I'm also going to be giving you, um, hang on, actually is a better way to do that. I'm just cut it. Uh, I'm also going to be giving you uh, crystals, pearls, all to coordinate. And I'm also going to be giving you some chain as well. So these kits will be out next week. And you can pre-order them. You can have one put away if you want. Sorry, I'm just going to move the blind because the sun's just come up. <laughs> it was really early when I started. Um, I'm going to put some bling in. Um, this came the other day I sent for one of these to start with don't know what happened to it and then this one came when I told them it hadn't come so I'm going to cut some of that and you can wrap a single strand I'll cut you enough at least six inches and you can wrap a single strand you will get the beads as well pre-cut now if you want to cut them down make them smaller that's completely up to you you will also get, so I'm going to put these in here because these are all the sorts of things that's going to come in the kit. You will all get some chain wire and this will be the white one so it will stand out more. So I'm going to put that in. Um, so it'll be enough to do three beads. The only thing I won't have in the kit is the wire because I don't have enough wire. But if you want to get it, 24 gauge is, is good. 24 gauge is perfect. But you'll have this trimming in as well. Um, yeah. So there'll be a bit of this and a bit of that to go in it. I have to put this in so I know what I'm putting in the kit. <coughs> Excuse me. Just remind me to cut all the pieces ready. 
So now I'm just going to quickly show you how to do the kit. You can hang charms from them and everything. Don't, you know, what's it? Play. That's the whole point. So I'm just going to move all this to one side at the moment. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to help uh, share this. Let me just put that needle there. So I need to cut a piece of fabric. Just big enough to do a bag. So this is either cotton or calico you'll get. Now, like I said, I would normally do this on the sewing machine because it's quicker. But I don't have the time and I can't have nowhere to put one at the moment. So I'm just going to cut mine. Now you do need to cut it into two pieces. And you'll also need, um, I'll give you some material that will do for lining. You have to line them. Okay, so we've got that. So this is the one that I'm going to use. It's a bit skew with it, that, but we'll use the other one. No, we'll use that one. I'm not fussed. Okay, so you take your fabrics. Oh. Now I want to add a piece of this crushed velvet. It's absolutely gorgeous. But I'm only going to do a piece across the corner. So these fabrics, you can do two or three bags. There'll be enough for you to do that. So I just have to quickly stitch that because that is where that's going. So any colour thread will do and whatever stitches you want to do and you can do a blanket stitch over it um, knots whatever you just whatever pleases you now I'm just going to finish there I'm not going to do this section here not right now I'll do me for now. Okay. Not the end. There, like that. So then what I'm going to do, I've got this bit of cotton. And, yeah. I think, and I'm just going to fold that in. Like that. Let me just work out how f deep I need it folding. That will fit there like that and that will just sit there like that. That's fine. So I'm just going to go in from the bottom section. You've got to imagine it using different coloured thread. I'm only using this one thread for now. So I'm showing you how to make the bag. It's not actually um, showing you the stitching, although I'm only using a blanket stitch. No, a blanket stitch, a running stitch at the moment. But you see, and I like that. Okay, that'll do that for now. Just re-thread my 
needle. So before I put the band in the middle, which I've got this, it's like a suede. Um, and I might cut some uh, edging on it. So I've done that one, I've done that one. Now I've got this one here. Which I think I'm going to go there with. Okay. I can just do that, can't I? I can do that and cut across from there to there. I just need to mark it. From there to there. So basically I'm going to cut it a little bit wider than that. Uh, longer. So I'm going to go this side of that mark. But you can cut these as any shape you want. They can be little tiny squares if you want. So I'm just going to move those out of the way that I've done. And you can add layer upon layer upon layer. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is just fold that back. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put a little tiny glue there just to hold that down while I'm stitching it. In fact, I could do that right across, but I need the needle to go through it, so I have to be careful. Um, yeah, and I can stitch that down there <coughs> because the band's going to go across it. There we go. So we've got that so far. Nice little patchwork. Now I want to put some lace on it. I'm not going to do that just yet. Where's the other piece? You know what? I'm going to do that. But before I do that, I'm just going to cut it. So remember when you've got yours, because I think some of the parcels have got this in as well. You might have a bigger piece or a smaller piece, but hey ho. Don't throw that away because that can go somewhere else. So I'm going to do that. Before I do that, I need a different one. I, let me just think. Where's that other one gone? This one. No. Well, it's just a little patch I want. So that could go in there. And I'm putting a band across that, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. I want it there, don't I? And then I'm going to stitch that. Let's just do this. Don't throw them away. They come in handy for just little bits.
So save all these because they'll come in handy for little patches somewhere. Not sewing the sides down if I can help it because I'm going to do that when I sew it up. I mean, mine's not perfectly square, but I'm not fussed about that because I'm just sharing with you how you do it. I don't want to glue the ends because um, that's what's going through the sewing machine. I've done that. Now I might want a little bit of this braid here. I'm going to tuck that underneath. I've left enough space. Yeah. I'm just going to glue that little end there. Just popping a little bit of glue in it and sticking that under there. it can go in there like that and I'm not gluing the end again like I said it is basically just yes it'll hide the stitching but I can go back and stitch something on it that's not a problem um, and then what I'm going to do is this side I think I'll use the same trim lift the flap up and I'm going to take it from there don't glue to the end your needle on your machine won't go through it and you can put that flap down Now you can add bits of doily and you know put a splash of colour in it. So what I'm going to do with mine, because I can, is to lift that flap up, pull it back and across there, um, I'll trim it all off later, um, let me just see. And I'm just going to pop on just across there, so right, not right to the end. When I sew it all up, it will sort itself out. So I'm going to do that. Cut the extra trim off here. And when that flap goes back, I've got a bit of tassel. Uh, Let's have a look. Just gonna clear my desk of these bits. What else can I use? Like that. Oh, I've got this one as well. This is like a top colour, but you know, these trims are in the shop. So what I'm gonna do is cut that off. actually want to do it there yeah that'll do so again a knot going to the edge and go over that you don't have to hide all the stitching or anything you know you can stitch on top and I'll show you what I mean see I like that oh, and do you know what I think I need to do four there. Of this trim. Keep that trim. It all comes in handy. For 
doing things like this. Going to flip all of that back like that. And that's going to go on there like that. Flip that back. And that's like my patchwork. Now, to top that off, I have some very small uh, roses and I have some flat beads. Now, I can put flowers on it or whatever, but not everything is about flowers. And I've also got this, remember, one of these that I can hang which I may just do that but remember don't go near the edge and I'm going to go one there try and even them out one there and one there Like that. Yep, like them. Oh. Let's have a look. Oops. Oh, I've got some of those. Now I want the tiny ones. And these are tiny. So, um, we'll put them in here, I think. Yeah. Uh, I have some coming in, I have to say. I've got some bags of mixed stuff coming in and it's gorgeous in lots of colours and I'm going to do a mixed bag of these. Uh, because I got it wholesale. Well, it'll cost you a fortune if you buy it from, even from the top shops that people are shopping at. For the variety I'm going to provide. Oh, pretty, isn't it? And you can just keep building this up. <coughs> oh, come off you, Wally. And even though that's covered, I'm still going to add the bead. There's nothing you can't use, whether it's a scrap of paper or whatever. There's nothing. Okay, so drop that. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. And then I can put like something here in this corner. Mm, not sure. And just put a flower. No, or a cameo of some sort, maybe. I'm actually going to go with that, but I'm going to take that loopy bit off. I guess I'm going to go, remember I've got to sew around it so it can't be too far or too near the edge. And then I can just pop in some glossy accents. I'll do it later, but all you do is pop in some glossy accents on there and then glue that back down. Right, so I'm going to now sew this oh and i need to put the tabs in you know for the um handle okay so i've got that now so i'm going to put the tabs in am i now i'll do it later i'm not going to do it now and you know what i can use those for tabs just trim them down okay so now what i've got to do is take the back and pop that on there like that 
I'm not sure that fits. And um, don't forget, you would be covering that. I'm not. Although, I might just do that as well. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. So we have, do that first. So we have an outside that looks pretty. Like that. All I've got to do now is to sew it all together. Right, I'm just coming to the end. <coughs> um, I've done all three sides and took some doing. <laughs> but yeah. Right, so. And I forgot the material was a little bit skew iffy, but I'm not fussed. We'll sort that out. So I'm just going to trim this. like that and then stitch to the end like that oops a daisy so I'm just going to use my pen or some oh my just to poke the corner out. Yeah, because I have hand sewn the lot. There, so that's done that corner. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Not bad for hand sewing. That one as well. Look, look at my little bag. So we've got, oh, that's all right, isn't it? Put my phone in that, can't I? Right, so, and we've got the tassel here, yep. Just gonna cut that off. Okay. And I'm, I'm happy with that. I just feel like there's something here needed so you know me have to put a little bit of pink and I'm just gonna put that on it just needed that was too broad a band so I'm just gonna put that on like that and I'm gonna glue that bit on because I can glue now Let's fold that onto there, trim that off, and then pop that onto there. I'm happy with that, that's fine. Oh, that's nice. Little bit of pink. I mean, <laughs> you know me. So yeah, so I need I need a band across there now. See, this is where you can keep going and never stop. But you know what? Because I'm all pearls. Oh yes. See, that's the problem. You can just keep going. <laughs> now I'm going to have to do that with glossy accents because I do want that to stick. Oh. Uh, if I didn't use it, it wouldn't work. You only have to leave it a couple of minutes. Right. Now. Now while I'm waiting for that to dry like that I 
um, I'm going to get the lining ready. So we need the same width, there we are, the same width as we've just done, um, which is that one I think. How wide's that? Yeah, that'll do. Because I bought a cotton sheet from a charity shop um, and I cut it up into sections ready for me to use and it were two quid. <laughs> I'm not going to be stupid. Right, so what I have to do um, is just to sew one side of this. Now you do need it slightly bigger that it goes over because you slot that into it, sew the end and then you turn it the right way. If I remember rightly. <laughs> and I put my loops on as well to hang from the bag. So let's have a look. I can always put a little tuck in it or something like that. Now I'm going to leave my needle threaded and I'm not sure if that's dry enough yet, hopefully. So what you do is, hopefully it's dry. I'm just going to slot that in there like that, pull that through. So I've got the ends and then I have to stitch around there but don't stitch it that obviously. So I'm going to pull mine up to here, open that up and flatten it and then just start stitching around the edge. Now remember I stuck the brooch on as well so hopefully Mind you, if it comes off, we just stick it back on again. I may need to put a little tuck in it because it's quite a bit of fabric compared to this one. So that's better off doing it on the sides like that, just to a pleat. Right, so now I've done that. Sewn it all the way around. Just give it a little tuck either end of that. And then what you do is... You have to pull that back through like that. Okay. And now you've got to now stitch this end. I can't really get my hand in there, but what I would do if I had the sewing machine out next would be to stitch, see along there, just to pin that down. And that's what I do now. So I need my ruler just to get this fabric down to the corner. And then what I have to do is, like I said, I was going to put those on, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do something a little bit stronger. Now, um, I've got these. So I'm going to cut them. It's this I want. That. I can still hang them. So I've cut that in half. And now I'm going to... Um, see the side, stitch that in. And 
like I say, I would run that instead of gluing it. I would have run it around the machine. So, you know, hindsight, put the machine on and use it. <laughs> Right, so we've put our loops on anyway, like that, and now we can put the chain on. These are candle holders. How many of these are going in the landfill? I use them to store my beads. So I have this, and I'm going to undo them. Like that, hook that off. Just hook them all off actually. Now, let me just sort this out. Clean will get it. Actually, I need to keep that on like that. So I need a long chain. That's too long. So all I need to do is to measure my shoulder, which I'm just going to put this over my shoulder. And, yeah, so I need that taken off. I've just measured my shoulder. Um, and the best way to do that at the moment is just to cut that. Like that. And do this one the same. Like that. And then I need to hook that on and hook that into there. Hopefully, I can get it all in. Yeah, and then pin that back together. I would actually do two of these, you know, join them, so you have a better strength, you know, better way, um, thingy. Hang on. I need to nick that. going to pinch that one to the other side but then I'm going to open this up hopefully my camera will last this is the last bit okay so I'll take the end through there and through there and hopefully all I've got to do now is to add my beading I've got that there and I'm going to add these Come on, Fee, get it done quickly. I'm going to glue it onto the side, but then I will obviously go around and stitch that. And that all ties in together. In fact, what I'd probably do is add a touch of... Um, I'd sew it on, you know, when I'm sewing the end. And look... That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Watch out for the picture.